We're with Santa Barbara High School Hello. student newspaper, The Good. Forge. How are you? Both my kids went to Santa Barbara High. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, why don't you tell us your names and a little bit about the project you're here for. I'll let you go first this time. I'm Sharon Green, and our film project is called Fresh to Frightening. It's called Fresh to Frightening, the Sharon Green story about Sharon. I'm the director, nice. writer-director, and uh, Sharon is one of the foremost competitive yacht racing photographers in the world. So all those yachts you see on magazine covers and all that kind of stuff, America's Cup Olympics, this lady has probably shot a lot of those covers. And so it's kind of a day in the life of Sharon. It's shot here locally in Santa Barbara, and we follow her in helicopters and really fast speed boats, and it's really exciting and lots of color. And I think it's gonna be a window into a world that a lot of people didn't know existed. Yeah, that's a very specific profession. Yeah. So how did that come about in your life? Well, when I was actually a teenager, I got into sailing and then I decided to, and photography at the same time, and then I decided to start photographing sailing and I understood the sport, so it all came very easily to me. And um, I've been doing it ever since, so 40 years now. Did you start here in Santa Barbara? No, no, I started in Canada. Okay. I'm from Canada, from just outside Toronto, and then ended up in, in, here in Santa Barbara about 25 years ago. Cool, why did you move here? I to move to the West Coast. I was on the East Coast of the United States and then moved to the West Coast and uh, there's a lot of great sailing happening here so that's how it ended up being. <laughs> how are you feeling getting to be here tonight at the Santa Barbara Film Festival to oh, tell people so about exciting. your story? It's so exciting. It's, it's my first film in the festival. <laughs> Mine too. It's my directorial debut so I'm re we're really excited to be here back in person. That's cool. So how did you guys um, we met at the Yacht Club. I'm, I'm a lifelong sailor myself. You did an interview on me. I did. A, I write for the Independent now and again, and uh, I wrote a piece about Sharon, and we kind of that's when we really met, and we just became friends the last few years. And I thought, why not make a film about her? And so that's awesome. To this project. Cool, cool. And so our film, we actually shot it here in Santa Barbara. Nice. So from this, you know, day in the life perspective, what surprised you the most? What was the most surprising part about that day for you as you were following um, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think people don't realize the logistics involved in what Sharon does. You know, the, it's not just, oh, I'm just going to go help in a helicopter. There's a lot of things to decide about weather, if it's foggy. You know, whether where, she, where can she get the helicopter from, how quickly she can go and find the boats out on the water. You know, there's a lot of logistics I think people don't realize for when they see the magazine cover. Yes. Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> well, how was it for you to, you know, have someone follow you around with a camera? What was that like? It was actually a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And we did it during a major international regatta here in, that's hosted here in Santa Barbara by Santa Barbara Yacob. And that was a lot of fun because having this camera crew walking around behind me and, and it was just, it was a lot of fun. And um, and they, they got to see what, you know, behind the scenes. Something that we found really- That sounds exciting. Um, so what I was gonna ask was that like, how, what was kind of your vision for the film and like while you were filming it, like what did you want the viewers to take away from it? Um, I think my vision for the film was to really showcase, you know, what an incredible job Sharon does and the challenges she faces as you can see she's not the biggest of people but she carries around all this equipment and she's on these chase boats and it's kind of a you know it's kind of a brutal environment she works in you know and I thought wouldn't it be cool to kind of highlight an unusual job that, uh, that a woman does that people maybe don't even know exists and we hope that it might lead to other things maybe a series maybe a feature length you know so who knows Awesome. Thank you both so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.